Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library and today was summer reading a dress up day for us. So today I am your friendly neighborhood trash panda here with another science short. Today we are going to be looking at a different kind of floating bubble. Let's take a look. So for today's experiment we are going to start with a walled container, clear so we can see through it, and our old friends baking soda and vinegar. And as we know, when you mix baking soda and vinegar, you get a chemical reaction. And one of the results of that chemical reaction is a clear gas, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is heavier than the oxygen around us. So it is going to stay put in the bottom of this pitcher. And it's going to create an invisible layer that a bubble can simply float on top of. Oh, we had it there for a second. We're going to keep trying here. We can't see it. It's invisible, just like the air around us. But bubbles are so light that they make a really good uh, visual representation. So we can't see that gas, but there it is, helping that bubble to basically float, to appear suspended in midair. Um, plus, Blowing bubbles is super fun and they're super pretty. Um, this is an easy one that you can try at home if you have a pitcher or a really big jar or glass. Um, just remember, you know, try and try again. It might not happen on the first time and that's okay. Thank you guys for watching and I'm just gonna take a quick second to say starting June 1st is when all of our summer reading things are gonna kick off. And although we aren't having the big party this year, we are still having lots of different summer reading programs. So make sure to stop by or give us a call and we can tell you all about the kids summer reading program, the teen summer reading program, and the adult summer reading program. Hope to see you soon. Bye.